Hey everyone, so uh, this week I'm going to come to you from the garage. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing to my boat, the uh, Parker, the steering wheel in there. I started braiding this winter, and I'm going to show you guys what I was doing with it. I made up a couple of little, of little sections of this so you guys can see different types of wraps and how you can do it yourself without spending a ton of money trying to order one from somebody. So uh, what I actually got was I just got like this regular book. This one's really good. Uh, Powerful Cord Outdoor Gear Projects. I got that from Amazon. And I also got FIDs. These little guys right here, which make wrapping really easy. That was from Wild Wolf. Um, you can get that from Amazon as well. And I made up my own little puller. Some of you, you rod tying, uh, rod building guys may know what this is for when you wrap over, put the line through, and then pull it back and sneak it underneath. So uh, I'll show you how you use that some tape some scissors there's really not a whole lot to this and uh, your steering wheel or even if you have handles on the side you want to do your handles anything else that you have steps going up on it or even a polling platform there's uh, all different ways that you can use these on there and i'm going to show you guys a few of this okay so what we're working with here is power cord here's your power parachute cord um, this is a 550 black. I'm just going to use this for everything. You can use all different colors and alternate them. What I like to do with the power cord, though, is, is I will torch the ends of it. And see what it does? It just kind of bubbles it up. So it won't, won't keep fraying on you. won't run away. And I'm going to show you a couple other things later on that it's good for as well. Alright, the first one I'm going to show you is an alternating half hitch. And how I'm going to start that is you just have one loop going around, and I am actually going to sneak underneath it and make another little loop. And that will hold itself in place. Or you can put a dab of glue on it. Or some electrical tape. But what you're going to do is you're going to go over and through. And you're going to make your second hitch net. Now when you go around the next time, you go the opposite way. So now I'm going to go down and up. Now I'm going to go back over the top and through. And all you do on this one is you go back and forth. You keep going opposite ways. And these books will show you how to do all this, but I'm just trying to show you guys in real time. And you can bang this out. I can wrap, wrap a wheel now sitting on the couch and just get this part of it done in about an hour, hour and a half. You start to fly though after a while. You'll figure out how much power cord it takes to do a wheel or how, how many inches it takes to do a section between the spokes. But there you go. That right there, that's the alternating half hitch. All right. So now the next one I'm going to show you is just the regular half hitch. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to loop this through again as our starter. I'll show you how to do that in the book too. And what I do this time is I just keep going around the same direction. And I just go back through my loop. I just keep going around. Now what this will do is, is your knot will get offset a little bit each time. So it keeps making that spiral kind of wrap going around and around and around your wheel. And that's what I did on the wheel for the Parker. You can already see how the knots are starting to come down and around. And that's all you do is you just keep going in the same direction on this. You alternating half hitch one, you just keep going back and forth opposite directions. This one we're still going the same direction. And you see how I start to wrap over the top of what I started with? 
that little tag again keeps getting wrapped over. Now at this time you could put a little dab of super glue in there if you want just to kind of hold it in place so, it'll, so it won't spin around on you. But once you get all these knots on there it really starts to lock itself down and you won't get that twist out of it. And just keeps coming around and coming around and here I can take you over here and show you guys here's the alternating half hitch which lays flat going down along the one I just did the regular half hitch that has the wrap around the alternating in green and the regular half hitch in green so you guys can see how it looks with different colors on it and it's really easy. What you gotta do is get yourself a hundred feet of power cord from Amazon for ten bucks and start playing with it, and you'll get some really cool designs. And this one is just regular hardware store rope. That's not even power cord. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do the Turk's head knot too, which is the big knot that you usually see on the end of the spokes on some of these really good steering wheels. So I'm going to show you guys that too. That's that's real intricate and that's when you get into using the fids. But I'll kind of show you guys the basis on that one. Alright, so he brought you up on the boat and uh, we're going to do different colors. So I'm going to do this bright blue on the black steering wheel. And you can see on here I did the regular half hitch going around so I've got that spiral wrap. On some of them too you can see through it and you can see you can see the stainless of the wheel. For something like that, on one of the other wheels I did, you could put black electrical tape across the bottom of it, and that will hide that so you can't see it. I just, I beat my steering wheel up anyway, and I have dirty, disgusting hands holding fish for people, so I just didn't really worry that much about it. But uh, what we're going to do is, I've got five spokes on here, so I'm going to need five lengths of power cord. You want them to be about four and a half to five feet long, and at the ends of it, you can see on this one, you can see how it's cut at an angle. When you use the fid and you put it in there, it's actually threaded at the end. So I'm going to put it in the edge of it and twist. And it's going to pull itself or pull the power cord right in there. Okay, you see how it goes in? And now this time I can just use this to weave everything around the way I want it and to pull the line behind it. So these fids are amazing. I think they were like 10 bucks as well. So I, you're really not putting any money into, into this, but you can keep getting out of it. You can do wheels for your friends. You can do all sorts of stuff around the boat with it. And not even the boat. You can do other stuff around the house. Just don't let your wife or partner know that you know how to do this. Otherwise you may be doing all sorts of things. So we're going we're gonna to go from there. Okay, so this is going to be hard to follow, but you'll get the, the gist of it. So follow if you want, but when you get the books, and you sit there with the book in front of you, and you learn how to do it, you'll get it down fairly easily. Me, this is still a learning process. This is like Turk's Head Knot number 20, and I still don't have it down exactly right. So it'll, it'll take a little bit. <laughs>
does get frustrating when you do the wrong pattern and then it doesn't work out right and you keep following it and following it and you're left with one line and then you come up with three wraps on another but you can't find a way to follow the other pattern back. So it does get quite annoying if you mess the pattern up. So about an hour in, I'm on my fourth one. I got the other three done and this one is just fighting me. This is the third time I'm trying to do this one but it is just not working with me. So I'm getting quite frustrated but if you think of what I've got into it, I've got bang the camera. I've got twenty dollars invested in the power cord. I've got ten dollars invested in these fids and everything else I had. Yeah, I had the torch, the scissors, tape, all that stuff. So that's it. A thirty dollar investment on having your own wrap steering wheel is not bad. What the hell is this one? So it'll it'll be worth it in the end, I hope. As long as I can get this done before sundown. It is probably about 12.30 now. So I'm gonna keep plugging away trying to get this one last friggin' Turk's head knot done. This is definitely a challenging one, but I'm no master of knots. I can tie up a boat, make a bowl and lots of fishing knots, but I'm definitely no no steering wheel wrapper. So let's try it again. Run the top. All right, so here we have it. We got the Turk's head on each of them there. It came out okay, not great. But then again, I'm not doing this professionally either, charging 350 bucks a wheel. So for 30 bucks, it's not bad. Everything's on there. I like the grip too, especially when you're out there really hold on to it. It's not gonna slide it all on you. Especially with the wraps like this instead of the uh, the alternating half hitch which just has the line. I like this one a lot better. But it really gives me something good to hold on to just moving around instead of having to use the knob all the time. But uh, really came out good. Um, on the back side when I finished it, I cut them back. I used the torch. I just kind of melt the ends down just a little bit like I was showing you before. And then I put a little dab of the, the uh, what you call it, crazy glue on there just to hold everything in place just so it seats good so it doesn't come apart but uh i like the colors of this one um also i'll put a picture on there too of bruno's wheel the wheel i did for him because uh, that one came out really good that was more of a tan and black but uh i hope you guys enjoyed this hope that helped you out at all but uh, if you have any questions you can always contact me um, on amazon too if you look up any of those books about how to braid power cord you'll get all the stuff in there and uh, even the book was only like 13 bucks, I think. But if you get the Prime, you could probably get one of them on there. If you get your free book every now and then, you can just get one on there. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, uh, please subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Hopefully with some more fish next time. The sky is actually clearing up now. We're supposed to get thunderstorms all day. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get out there. So you never know. All right. See you guys later. Bye.